All right. This is uh, this is Fritz Chael. I'm the tactician and social media guy for uh, for Princess M. And we are ten minutes out from our start. If you look over here, you can see that the uh, other cruising division just started um, just mere seconds ago. A bunch of boats on the horizon over there. Um, what you're seeing here is the city of Chicago. A little haze between us and the. Uh, Thank you very much. We we certainly hope we have a safe voyage. Uh, us in us in the city of Chicago. Uh, here's Infinite Diversion, um, one of the larger boats in the race. Certainly one of the larger boats in the largest boat in the cruising division at 63 feet. Uh, all right. Now, so we're going to be coming about here. So what we're, I'm going to show you guys here is for, for the next 10 or 15 minutes, we're going to talk about. Um, we're going to show you what goes on on the race boat as as we're getting ready to cross the, the start line. Here we are coming back. We're coming about. It is a beautiful day to start a race. It's a gorgeous day. This is a crew member Andrew Kelly right here. Yeah, it needs some places a great boat. Rich over there. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. Got Mark with his Grateful Dead t-shirt on over there. Great. Bring in the main. Thank you very much. It is so beautiful out here. So now we're headed back towards the start line. And a lot of times what will happen is we'll uh, go towards the start, um, come back away from it and go back towards it because what we want to do is get a sense for how fast we are approaching the line with the winds that are prevailing right where the start line is. Uh, so we know what our sails are doing. Uh, we, and we're using our main right now plus our jenny. Um, and we, uh, so but by, by not changing those and by practicing basically a couple times, uh, we're able to figure out how well we're going to approach the start line. Um, so it sometimes takes a couple tries here, um, and we want to monitor the wind all the time to make sure it stays the same. If it increases, we know that we have to maybe decrease some of our sail area or angle. Uh, if it increases, uh, we have to, or if it decreases, then we need to uh, adjust accordingly for that. That's uh, Cam Bilot. He's our main strategist on the boat. Incredibly smart guy. He's got, I think this is his 26th or 27th Mac. Uh, there's a bit of wind out here. I think it's, uh, let me see if I can figure out what it is here. Well, the, uh, the wind is about the same as, as it has been for the last 15 or so minutes. Uh, be going between uh, 10 and 11 knots. Um, just so you guys know, uh, I am trying to do one hand for Periscope and one hand for the boat um, and make sure I know what I'm looking at. So if I miss a question, please feel free to re-ask the question. Um, I'm not trying to ignore anyone here. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, well, you're welcome. You're, you're very welcome. Uh, we've got the uh, little helicopter. I don't know if Periscope can pick that up out here, but there's a little pair of helicopter somewhere there. Um, all right, there's another helicopter. Get a lot of cool helicopters trying to take cool pictures of the boat, uh, or in all the boats, as they're going towards the start. You have sound. Good. Excellent. Oh, yeah, if you have problems with the connection, just drop out and come back in. One of the nice things about sailing in Lake Michigan and sailing uh, off of Chicago is this is, well, just, just come, back, come on back in. Um, this is actually one of the best views of the city, or I shouldn't say one of the best. It is the best view of the city of Chicago, which is probably the best architecture city of the entire world. So we get to see more of it from out here than you do from anywhere on land. Okay, we just heard that we're five minutes out from our start right now. 
I don't know if you guys can see this over here. The, uh, a bunch of boats over here. Um, let's see if I can line it up. There's a little green buoy out there. Up part of the start line. And you can see all the boats, what they're doing out here is they're going up to the start like we are. And they're coming back uh, and trying to figure out how it is that they're going to approach the start. Welcome back, Grace to Mekma. Uh, just a little little shout out to uh, the race and to Wintrust. Thank you guys very much. We love you guys. It's a lot of work to, to put on the race to Mackinac. It's a huge race. This year there are 324 boats, I believe. 325, 324. Um, and it's a lot of stuff to put on. Here we go. We're going to have a fun time meeting these people. Whitecap. A lot of times in the start of a sailing race, you guys get uh, you guys get to see here how close we get to a lot of other boats. Um, this happens a lot, which means that whoever's at the helm, whoever's at the wheel, has a lot of stress usually. Um, this isn't a terribly high wind start. Nevertheless, there are a lot of boats out here, so everyone has to be vigilant on... Okay, sounds good, Jane. Everybody has to be vigilant on where their boat is and what other boats are doing. Infinite diversion again. That's uh, Celestial out there. This is uh, Shoestring. And if you guys are following Sail Princess M on Twitter, um, you would see a really nice uh, shot of Shoestring as we were leaving the harbor earlier today. Also, a great shot of Infinite, infinite Diversion. Again, uh, if you're just joining or if you're reconnecting or, or so, this is Fritz Chalif on the yacht Princess M, and we are starting, we're about to start the 107th uh, Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac, um, which is a 333 mile race up Lake Michigan from Chicago to Mackinac Island. Uh, I'm a tactician on the boat, and I also do the social media. So we're trying to do our best at uh, periscoping the start of the race. Um, so that everybody on land who's not on the boat can uh, can feel like they're here. Beautiful on the east coast of Lake Michigan today. Ludington, safe voyage. Oh, it, oh, great. Hey, keep us informed of the weather as we're going up the race. We would love to know what that is. We're trying to monitor all of that. We've got a course planned out, but we know that we have some big decisions to make as we are going. Uh, how is wind direction variable? Wind's actually been, been very stable. So, Thank you very much, Ellie 531. Uh, here's the committee boat. Uh, everybody on Periscope, wave to the committee boat. <laughs> they wave back. Um, so we are just. Uh, there's the one minute gun, or four. So now what we're doing, so you can see this, uh, who's at the wheel? That's uh, Carl Chalif, that's my father, and he, he owns the boat. Uh, as you can see, we're one minute out, and what we're doing is we're luffing our, our Jenny so that we can slow down, uh, which means that uh, the guys in the cockpit think that we're uh, approaching the start a little bit too fast, um, so they want to spill the wind from the sail so that we're not going as fast. Um, and then as we approach the start line, a uh, little traffic here, this is, this is going to be interesting. This is kind of what you can expect to see at starts here. Look at this. This is great. Ten seconds to the start. Four, three, two, one. There's the gun. Okay. And now Princess M is racing right now with all these other boats. 
race has started. The 107th Chicago Yacht Club Race Mackinac uh, for our cruising division has now officially started. Here is the race boat. This is technically the uh, start line with them right here. This is how close we are to other boats. How's it going? Good, we're periscoping the start, so you guys are live on Periscope right now. <laughs> Take care, good luck. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream in everybody's ear there. Uh, here's Infinite Diversion. That 63 foot Hansa. Beautiful boat uh, with uh, Susie Phelps on it. Uh, one of the things that uh, larger boats have over uh, smaller boats is uh, they're faster. So infinite diversion always starts with us, and then they just kind of go away up the lake faster than we go. How many on board uh, the Princess? We have uh, eight people right now on board. Uh, we expect to have all eight when we reach the island. Um, we, uh, we do two crews of uh, four each. Um, so we do four hours with four people, and then we switch the next four hours, the other four people come up on deck. Um, and uh, what, what ends up happening is you have people who uh, kind of swing between different watches and crews just to make sure that there's enough hands on deck to do sail changes and to make sure everybody's okay, uh, depending on what's going on. Uh, a lot of times when we want to make a decision on changing course for the wind, we want to bring up uh, one or two people just to help us look at what's going on with the, with the wind and how we've been doing so far. Um, and we, uh, we kind of make a, a group decision to see what, what we need to do and, and hopefully go faster. Here's Sport AC, right behind us. You can see where uh, Infinite Diversion has gone. It is a wonderful view. It is a wonderful view. So that Mirage over there. And right off midship, basically, you've got these three right here. It's uh, K Loco, uh, Celestial, and I'm sorry, I can't remember which one that is. Um, anyway, so this is uh, this is what it looks like when we start uh, one of the greatest, one of the top ten sailing races in the world for uh, amateur racers. Uh, got the 324 boats in this race this year, and we are one of them. Hopefully, hopefully, going to finish first. You never know where you're going to finish. Uh, we got a long way to go. Um, but I'm going to sign off now. Uh, this has been Fritz Chalif, the tactician and social media guy on uh, Princess M. And, uh, ooh, they're having a little problem over there. Some drama on Serenity. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, it's Fritz on, self, uh, on Princess M. Our Twitter handle is SailPrincessM. Uh, so please give us a follow. Uh, we're going to try to do more periscopes. Uh, probably not during the race, but on the island. Um, and the uh, the other thing is that we're one of the Twitter boats, meaning that we have a satellite transponder. Oh, so the, you can see what happens when a boat doesn't have their sails correctly. We're going, we're passing them quite quite quickly here, and so is everybody else. Uh, so we are going to, uh, anyway, we're going to sign off um, so I can actually help out here. Uh, the crew here has been so generous. Oh, they finally got it. Good. Okay. So, anyway, everybody take care. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon.